Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, want to thank all our patrons for their support. We couldn't do without you guys' support on Patreon and also on Ko-Fi. A huge, huge thank you. And everybody that's interested in getting energy work done, Vedic astrology charts, uh, contacting guides, etc., you can reach out to us at evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com. Also, on every single video, if you click that little drop down where you get more info, has all the info about sessions and what we do. So uh, you see this. This is basically spraying, they say, for West Nile. We've seen uh, instances of triple E uh, encephalitis again, and this is in New York City. They're telling everybody, you know, to please, you know, <laughs> don't inhale deeply stay inside until the truck passes obviously this is still going to be in the air it's still going to be on vehicles it's going to be on the roads it's going to be on trees it's going to be on the birds and the bees and you know it's something where a lot more people are waking up to just how this false matrix creates the issues that then it wants to give you the solutions to uh, which again all lead to lowered uh, life expectancy, lowered intelligence, lowered uh, vibrations and frequency on planet Earth. As this person here is saying, mm, where have I seen this before? It looks a lot like what we saw in uh, Wuhan, it does it not, when they were just spraying this stuff everywhere? You know, isn't it interesting that there's mosquitoes that are being uh, GMO'd? and mass produced mass produced in in certain areas around the globe by again the same cast of characters that gil bates guy and and others you know it's the same cast of characters humanity seems to be waking up more and more to the fact that it really only has one problem you know i i'm looking at this and i'm thinking while people have a choice and i i believe there's still a choice here where you could call your city town representative you know neighborhood watch board whoever it is and talk to them about this i i i did know someone who had a pretty severe auto uh, immune issue and every time we saw them trying to spray anything for bugs around the apartments we would say no you can't do this this person has an autoimmune and you just can't so i don't know if any of that at all is in play in any way shape or form but i would be pulling every single card i could looking at this this is really not good no and you know i don't know if it's just a photo but this one particular a uh, little mosquito uh, it looks a, a lot like it could be a drone which there are drones we've seen that too and uh, I, I do think again the problem is that you know there is a dark matrix which has grabbed a hole of the natural matrix and that dark matrix has its own purpose and it's not to help us in any way shape or form it's to use us and you know, there's one way that they do this is is by keeping us completely divided and fighting amongst ourselves. So here you have a Colorado resident saying that illegal migrants are now extorting American citizens for rent. I've lived in Colorado for m four months. They're taking over extorting uh, residents for rent. Police aren't doing anything. Feds aren't doing anything. Marshals won't do anything. Um, and he's calling for other veterans to take action. Well, you know, the big buzz is the Hell's Angels are coming. Um, yeah, the Hell's Angels, that biker club <laughs> that, yes, has been a part of Americana for, for decades. To say the least, you know, there's been movies about uh, the Hell's Angels and, and other groups uh, like them. As you see, uh, they're supposedly on their way to Aurora, Colorado to deal with the Venezuelan migrant gangs. Uh, this person here says we started out with nine people in the morning, ended up with ten more. We're, we're heading that way. Um, you know, we do see, we have seen videos w that show automatic weapons being used by the migrant gangs coming in 
what what is is this possibly some uh, beginning point flashpoint to something much bigger because again as we've said all along they want us in some sort of civil war revolution conflict ongoing before um probably before the uh, the election in november and and definitely before the red dawn uh invasion that they have planned again there's sleeper cells in mass besides you know the cartels that we have going on and and those apparently you know those rumors had some validity to the fact that certain uh areas were literally dumping all of the people or at least a vast proportion of the people that were locked up in prison out onto the streets and sending them over the u.s border uh at the same time you have great britain that's going to now clear room for people that are keyboard uh, malevolent keyboard warriors uh in the gels by letting out actual dangerous people and locking up the people that just point out what's happening uh to society in the rapid decay of society and erosion uh, of any sort of semblance of true law and order no this is this is a disintegration that's very dangerous for the controllers because you know again they're they're walking a very thin line they understand humanity is waking up they understand they're losing their ability to control us with nothing but a house of cards lies and illusions and yet they still got to play cards that are ultimately going to show their hand even more you know there's um people are having a lot of experiences as far as running into their star family or having an awakening going through something that is unexplainable by the 3d and like mike said it, it really is starting to get slippery for the controllers to grab hold of people and hold on to them because people are on to them now i mean they played that one card which you know kind of blew everything for them because now people absolutely do not believe them but enough still do so we're we're definitely not done yet um i'm looking at this and uh watching them there's one one problem and here comes another problem and it's going to come together and create a much bigger problem and i don't see how we're going to be able to clean up a mess with a another mess i i just don't see it you know but i can see people obviously here in the united states care and we never advocate for violence ever never never but people care and people want to do something and on either side of the bird you, you know you you have a, a wing and the both sides are playing together you know where are those ones who are claiming to be on our side why are why are they always so silent whenever something like this comes up and you know they might say all the right things and and do all the right things but when it actually comes to physically taking action and making a difference that people can actually see they are completely silent. Japan's government says there's now 9 million vacant homes in the country as it struggles with a declining and aging population. Uh, in fact, you know, this post below it says 40,000 people in Japan have died alone in their homes so far this year, 4,000 not being found for over a month, and 130 for over a year. Um, yeah, you know, if you haven't noticed, um, as we've s said for a long time, sperm counts uh, are dropping off a cliff. There was that movie. What was it? Da uh, Children of Men? I think it was the name of the movie, um, which was 20 years old. I, I want to say close to 20 years old, 15 to 20. And it has to deal with um, a, a woman getting pregnant. And it's a miracle because nobody gets is able to get pregnant anymore. This is where we're heading. Um, you know, we've been GMO'd uh, through the roof. We've been toxified through the roof. And what they've already accomplished um, with what they've done with the first plague upon the land and everything that came after it, especially the everything that came after it part, is, is kind of guaranteed uh, that Homo sapiens sapiens um, 
is 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 heading to extinction and and this is part of what they know you know that this is part of the plan uh, because again the same thing has happened to those that we call Denisovans and also Neanderthals some of their genes are in us but as a separate species they're no longer here and they were not um, less evolved than us they were in fact in some ways much more of a threat to the system and that's why they're no longer here uh, so this should really be an awakening as you can't control this anymore you 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 have governments that say we really screwed up sorry and we wouldn't recommend what we did recommend before and yet you got the major platforms like this uh, this particular platform still hiding things you know uh, everybody that works for these platforms you know you got to recognize that the energy of this darkness is, is going on them uh, you have to really understand this picture as we see there there's a lot of resemblance is there not again between the Rothschild and you know the House of Windsor here it's because they're all they're all interrelated they need to be of a certain frequency to be fully uh, usable to the parasites because th these are parasites these arconic forces are absolutely parasitic in nature and they do congregate together again you you have such a tiny little proportion of uh, embodied humans that are actually fully controlled although many are influenced at different times and when you think about it and I, I pointed this out before th he's he's very wealthy Kenneth Copeland I don't know how anybody think how anybody could think really listening to these people that are rich beyond belief and feel their energy and think that they're good that they're serving humanity they're serving themselves and they're serving the darkness the arconic forces the forces of the dark matrix you know that they are the demons they got you afraid they have all the fundamentalists afraid and terrified of you know burning forever in an astral hell which again would just be an illusion because you know the the senses that we have in the physical body are not the same senses that we have when we're out of the physical body and so you know it's something that's not going to happen no you know you, you you couldn't really burn in an astral realm because again you're not, you're not flesh and blood uh, per se you are in an embodied state in which that becomes an impossibility so again so much of what they sell us is absolute complete bunk it's just about controlling us and they are the demons we're listening to the demons you know all all some people's lives and and, and there's some really good people out there really good people that i think still have you know great hearts of gold and they're still totally 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 under the satanic control of the archonic forces and you know maybe we should refer to them as the archonic forces instead of the el, el lights um because again the gnostics did have it right in that there is a matrix within the matrix that's very dark and it gives us the illusion that it's light when now we we understand many people get this now you, you really get this obviously you can see the symbolism it's been the entire time in front of our faces but we were just too naive in other ages when we re, when we looked and cindy was remote viewing the denisovans the denisovans didn't have a clue what hit them they didn't have a clue that hit them they got blasted with a more intense version of what's up in the sky all over us that's not natural all the time that was how they were removed um, as a species uh, yes absolutely and it and at that that has to beg you to ask the question were they used to seeing aerial vehicles up in the sky all the time well yeah i mean just again uh it, if, if you really want to get answers you have to look outside of uh the bible and the abrahamic tradition you have to look to source um sources of where that 
comes from, which a lot of them are Sumerian, but again, the Sumerian itself is a distortion. Everything that comes out of the Sumerian mythologies has been controlled by the controllers, because again, that is in some ways uh, the genesis of, of them taking control of this planet. If you want to find some angles that are not completely taken over by the controllers, uh, look to those of the people of the Indus Valley and also the indigenous people around the planet with their mythologies and their legends and stories. They'll, they'll tell you again about the takeover of the earth by these dark energies and some even come straight out and say they're reptilian energies. But not all reptilian energies, uh, you know, again, you can't put every, uh, every group together and just say, you know, all reptilians are purely evil. There's many different reptilian species out there. And when we talk about the Nagas, the Nagas are not the Draco. They, they are distinct and they are not, not the same as, as the Draco. And then even amongst the Draco, you will have some individuals that, that recognize that they're on a path that's leading nowhere. And, and again, understand the bigger picture of things since we are not egregores. We, we have source within us. So ultimately, we are eternal consciousness. Do you want to be you know, in this type of paradigm forever? Obviously not. And yet there are others uh, that are egregores that are not uh, gifted with source spark. They, they do not have the source uh, of everything inside them. They are uh, thought forms that have been constructed kind of soulless entities and and the more you know i think about it i think some of those some of those entities um can be some of the ones that have been used to to puppeteer humanity down and off of a cliff but you know mickey mouse i'm sorry you know gotta tell you you know mickey's not a good guy I know, you know, I never really, really liked Mickey Mouse, you know, but Bugs Bunny, I, he was different. I kind of liked him. And it's just so sad you can go back and look how they manipulate children and they're doing it to our children now. You know, I really encourage anyone, if your child has a tablet or anything, be nosy. Be that nosy parent. Be a parent that's um, in their business and... You know, privacy thing of the past when your child has access to the whole world and you know there's people out there who will do uh, just about anything to come in through back doors and, and seem innocent. You know, they did it to us with, with the cartoons. You know, I choose to still sit in a place where I woke up Saturday morning, I got my bowl of, of sugar and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. That that was my childhood. Then I went out into the farm and I I played with my animals and I had a really, really good childhood. But as as we grow and we understand this control matrix, we see more and more and more who the puppeteers are. And we, we did a video yesterday and it did show uh, this little dog, this cute little dog. And he was playing with another little dog. But the other little dog was actually just a puppet on strings. And you could see the human who was controlling that other little doggy puppet and and this the real dog was really enjoying this little puppet dog on strings i mean he had he didn't know that it was different he was just enjoying himself he was in the moment he was uh you know he didn't need to think about who was controlling the other vehicle that he was playing with but we have the capability and we do need to think about who is controlling everything around us because we know that there is an entity and it's it's an entity that has an advantage over us only in the sense that they know our probable behavior they get a, us addicted to fear and they run our lives with fear and if we're aware of that then we're better able to see how they are going to use that to control us and we do have that source spark in us. We do have that capability to, to create. And that makes us very, very special. And I think more and more people are understanding 
how special they really are. And even if you're in a life and there's a lot of trauma and there's a lot of pain, don't forget you have that source spark. You can create something different. We just, we have to get better. We have to heal our bodies. We have to heal the mind, have to heal the soul so that we can expand that creative expression of of spark and realize that there is a puppeteer there that we might not be able to see so we help each other out on that absolutely you know and and here it is in 12 seconds the question who runs the world and then this guy having his cup of coffee uh answers that question and i just thought this was really kind of cute as you can see uh-huh 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 yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Well, yeah, sort of. I mean, you know, that is a way of um, looking at it that is awakening. And ultimately, again, you know, adding that other part, which is going to be the hardest part, I think, for some people to swallow, the fact that these are not humans. These are not humans. No, no, they're they're not humans. Um, but we are, and we have to realize that we hold the cards. You know, we are in a relationship with some very abusive beings, but we hold the cards. We create our own surroundings. It's up to us. Absolutely. And so they rule through division and chaos, and and they count on anger and vengeance and violence, etc., etc. How can you destroy this? Um, By acts of kindness and love breaking out spontaneously everywhere, by showing compassion and caring, uh, you know, quite the opposite. It takes the opposite uh, energy to really harm them. Because if we did, if all of a sudden everybody got it, threw their guns down, and instead of the Hell's Angels facing off with the Venezuelan gangs, recognize, you know, that we're all being manipulated, ha- had a nice, you know, meal together. You don't have to sing Kumbaya. But really, peace breaks out everywhere. They're in the dust. They can't go anywhere where you have higher frequencies. They can't exist there. So it, it's pretty simple. No, they can't. I mean, could you imagine if both of those forces figured out that, hey, we're being manipulated here. I know. This is a good idea. Let's work together and take our freedom back. <laughs> could you imagine? I, I mean, that would be wonderful. Absolutely. And that that is that is uh, what will happen, at least in select groups. Let's see if we could awaken as many as possible, because, again, it's the awakening. You have to share this info. It doesn't do any good if we keep it to ourselves. Share the love, share your knowledge, share your wisdom and do it with a sense of compassion. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.